what's up everyone this is Sal from Bosch FX uh, in this video I will show you how to create this TV in After Effects so what I have here is I have already created a comp with the background so I'm gonna start creating uh, the TV so to create the TV what I'm gonna do is first create a solid doesn't matter what color you use and press OK and then I'm gonna select the TV layer I'm just gonna remain it rename it and what I'm gonna do is select the round and rectangle tool if you want to go to that tool all you have to do is go here and just hold your mouse key and this will give you these options and you can just go select that one and then I'm gonna go in there and just I'm just gonna create a shape for my TV it's up to you whatever shape you want to use you know I'm just gonna do it about here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that layer and go to my align window, align panel, and just going to center it. It's just that one and that one. And there we have our design or our shape for the TV. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a, a depth, a depth cut inside the TV so it looks more realistic. So I'm going to go to the TV layer, right click on it and go to layer styles and go to inner shadows and down here in layer styles this will open up when you add layer styles so you can just go in inner shadows and then what I'm going to do is put the opacity to 100% and then I'm going to go down to distance and I'm going to make it 4 and I'm going to make the size to about 18 this is what I used for this project that I've created. So back in here, well, you see much of a difference because the layer we selected is black. So what I'm going to do is select that layer and add a ramped effect to our screen. And this color will, you know, define our color for the screen. So what I'm going to do is go to the start color and make it uh, lighter, like a light, very light uh, gray. About there. And then I'm going to take the end color and make it to about like really dark gray. Or I mean, not the darkest gray, but like a little bit less than that. I'm almost there. Like about there. And then I'm going to select the ramp layer and then select the points. I'm going to bring the start, po start color point to the center and this one to about here. Then I'm going to make that linear ramp to ramp, uh, radial ramp. And then I'm just going to play around with it so it looks more, you know, I'm just going to turn the mask layers off. And, you know, just play around with the shadings. You can, you know, change the settings whenever you want even after you have you know added more things to it so I'm gonna leave it about there uh, let me make it more darker there we go like about there to give like a you know like a TV that's turned off you know that's how you get kind of that thing and uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is um, to make it more realistic I'm gonna add a uh, smudge texture on it so you know it looks more realistic so what I'm gonna do is what I have I have here a smudge texture you can just google it and you know just google smudge textures and you will find a lot of those and you can just bring it into After Effects and just bring it into the comp and in this comp what I did uh, to make this transparent and uh, put it on the screen is I created a new uh, solid and what I'm going to do is put it below and do the toggle switch if it's not you can see your uh, track mat and I'm going to do is select that and do Luma Matte. Now when you do Luma Matte on the white layer, the black layer of 
the black color of that uh, picture will go away and you will have this all the texture you can see now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mask out the texture layer wherever I want in on the TV so I'm going to take the mask tool pen tool and I'm just going to make a random selection you know I don't want too many you know smudges too just a little bit maybe make it bigger Look about there just a little bit more Look over here just random nothing special you know and then I'm gonna select that layer and hit F and just feather it out to about 50 maybe or maybe less depends on the colors you're using so it looks more realistic and the next thing we do is it kind of like pops up too much so I'm gonna bring down the opacity of the texture to about 50 I guess or maybe a little more than that about 60 and yeah, that should be good and this is how pretty much created the screen uh, part of the TV and for the outline what I did is I just uh, duplicated my background which is this gray color so what I did is if you want different color or different thing you can just create it create a uh, you know a solid and change to whatever color you want and you know shape it around the TV what I did was I wanted the same color as the background so what I did is I duplicated my uh, background layer so I'm going to control D to duplicate it and I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask this out so what I'm going to do is select the background layer to save the duplicated one and select my round rectangle tool again and just leave like a little bit space above the lower uh, screen and just make a circle uh, make a same shape like about there I'm gonna keep some space at the bottom so I can put in, you know the company name and like whatever buttons if you want to add about there and then now you, you can't really see a difference because I have the same background you know now you can see a difference but if you go if I turn if you want I want to keep the background too and this layer too what I'm gonna do is go back to my layer settings and uh, I can add a stroke or I can add a drop shadow. Uh, let's try drop shadow for right now. That works, but not the best. Still kind of looks, you know, kind of it blends in the background. So what I'm going to do is add a stroke stroke effect too. So I'm going to make that, um, make the stroke to white or light gray, whatever you want. Put it I'm just gonna like I actually I'm gonna put a white kind of pops and there you go pretty much looks very realistic you know these are tight it's not obviously not a flat uh, screen TVs of these days but it's kind of like an old-school type uh, type of TV um, you know pretty easy effect and you know nothing too complicated or anything like that and if you notice when we add the uh, ramp layer on the screen, on the layer, on the TV layer, it kind of gives you this bulge effect. Because if you Google the images of the old TVs, like the the screen in the front is not like completely flat. It's kind of like curvy, a little bit curvy, like bulgy. So when you add a text or anything in that layer, what I did is added a bulge effect on it. For example, let's say when I add gonna put hello here let me change the settings here let me just reset the whole thing and uh, let me pick a bold like something bold and increase the size of it and put it in the center of the TV uh, and make sure that your texture is above everything so you know Maybe a little bit smaller around there. And what I'm going to do is add a bulge effect. Oops. Bulge. Bulge effect to it. 
and this will kind of like give you the bulge effect on the text because on the screen it are automatically causes by the ramped effect so are we gonna just give a little bit of a bulge effect so it looks more kind of you know it's on the TV inside of the TV the text is inside of the TV so we're gonna add the bulge effect and I'm gonna put the height to about like 0.5 for right now and then I'm gonna just bump up the vertical radius and the horizontal radius and that kind of looks okay for right now maybe I'm gonna put a little bit less point point three maybe other thing I did to the text in this project was uh, if I go to the text comp in here and what I did is I duplicated the text layer and to the bottom layer what I did is I added a glow effect and so it kind of like reflects a little bit of light or like glow behind the text so it kind of looks more realistic that that's inside the TV you know reflecting more uh, light on it so it kind of makes it that makes the text more pop out you know and uh, kind of like a glowish thing so um that's it and the last thing the light what i did is just create a green layer and created a circle a small circle uh using the uh, ellipse tool and then just put a glow effect on it and kind of emits the light on it and pretty much that's it uh thank you for watching uh check out my website um I have a lot of templates for you guys to check it out, download, and also check out my channel. And thank you very much for watching. Download the project file for this, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.